Hey guys. Hey guys. Okay, we're doing like a quick impromptu video. Yeah, this is a more of a random lifestyle kind of thing. So if you want to learn about budgeting and finances and stuff, I guess. This is not the video. This is like a budget your sleep <laughs> video, maybe, I don't know. I don't have you on the tripod, so I apologize for the shaky yeah. video. Yeah. <clears throat> Today we are officially... Steady cam is for professionals. We're amateurs. Today we are officially starting sleep training with Freya. Yeah, because we, well, whenever we go anywhere, it is an absolute nightmare because she pretty much needs to be fed to sleep. Yes. Um, which obviously Valerie's got on lockdown. <laughs> but it's kind of a pain in the butt to like go visit friends or family or something like that and just hold on, I gotta take 45 minutes out of this visit to go put my kid to bed. Yeah. It sucks. For real though, so she, She's a good sleeper, but I have to nurse her to sleep every time and I have to nurse her to sleep laying down mm -hmm. Which is even more convenient, right? Like it's one thing if you're at somebody's house and you just nurse your kid Sitting up and they fall asleep in your arms and then you can put them down. No, not Freya If you try that if she even falls asleep yeah. in your arms, which she does like one out of ten times um, You put her down she'll wake up screaming but if you feed her lying down, she'll fall asleep and stay asleep. But you can't really do that when you're out visiting people. Mm -hmm. So today we made the decision to start sleep training, which is just as hard as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Not because it's like an overly complicated process, but because, you know, mom guilt is a thing. Dad mm -hmm. guilt is a thing. Every time a child is the least bit upset, they get this like, help me, I'm being ripped apart, like shaky, lib <laughs> kind of crack going on. Yeah. Um, and that just runs counter to everything I believe a dad should do because she is supposed to laugh and smile and anything that makes her cry like that should die by fire. It is It is very hard listening to your child cry. Yeah. So I put her, I fed her, I still fed her laying down and she didn't want to go to sleep, which is kind of unusual for her, mm -hmm. but she was calm. So I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe now's the time that we try sleep training. So I put her in her little sleep sack and I rocked her and I laid her down and she laid in her crib for probably like five or six minutes, just kind of awake but not screaming. Mm -hmm. And then the screaming started. Mm -hmm. So I set the timer for five minutes and we sat in the living room and listened to her scream. That was hard. Very hard. And then I went in there and sang her a little lullaby and patted her on the chest. I didn't pick her up, left the room again. Now they say to do the next round at 10 minutes. I couldn't do it, so I set the timer yeah. for seven minutes. Baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> and she cried for the seven minutes. And I mean, it's not like the kid can tell time, right? So what does she know? It was a very long seven minutes mm -hmm. for us. So then I went back in there again and I burped her and I sang to her and I rubbed her belly and I gave her a pacifier, even though she doesn't take pacifiers. She hates pacifiers. Um, so she grabbed it and chewed on it because she's teething. She but does it, like to chew on pacifiers. But it was enough to calm her down. Mm -hmm. So then I came back out and set the timer for 10 minutes. She was okay for a couple of minutes and then the screaming started again. So we sat and had our breakfast and listened to our child scream. And the timer went off. She had been quiet for a minute or two and I thought, great, she went to sleep. So we're finishing our breakfast and she starts screaming again. And I thought, oh my God, this sleep training is not gonna work. So I was like, I'm just gonna finish these two strips of bacon. I'll go in there and calm her down. Mm -hmm. Well, she was quiet again. And guess what? She's sleeping. Bum, bum, bum. She did it all on her own. It's a little hard to see. You can kind of see the pacifier Whoop, right there in the crib next to her. But she fell asleep, and she's been asleep for about 10 minutes now. All by herself. Yes. So, we thought that we would vlog a week of sleep training. Mm -hmm. And this is day one, attempt one. Mm -hmm. Success. <laughs> Hopefully this is the worst it gets. <laughs> I don't know. And it's just all, with any luck, it's all uphill from here. Look at her trying to like, Tell me I'm not being overly optimistic. Okay, bye for now. Bye. All right, baby girl is up. She slept for an hour and 35 minutes. She didn't wake up or fuss once. Once she fell asleep, she was asleep. She did so Look. good. Did you have a good nappy nap? That's a happy baby. <laughs> Who's that? So yeah, she went to bed on her own. It took a total of I want to say like 20 minutes. Something like that. Took 20 minutes for her to do it on her own. But when she fell asleep, she slept for an hour and a half and did not wake up once. Did not fuss, did not cry, didn't have to go in there and check up on her. We got to pretend we were adults. We got some we stuff ate done. breakfast, we did stuff, we hung out. It was mm -hmm. glorious. Yeah. So I would say that first attempt was successful. Yep. Although stressful. 
Yeah, it was emotionally draining. But it was successful. Yes, it was. All right, it's currently 2.30. I fed her again because even though I fed her when she woke up, she's hungry. Yeah, she only ate for like four minutes when she woke up. And then before bed, she was like eating her hands and eating my face. And she put my whole nose in her mouth and burped and then started trying to suck on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I fed her and then we gave her some cuddles. We can hear some fussy baby action right now. And we put her down and I set the timer for five minutes. We maybe set her a little far back. You can't really see her face. I'll change that when I go in there next. But as you can see, she's not a happy baby. So I have a five minute timer on and we will see how this goes. Okay, the five minute timer went off. She's still awake and fussing, although she's not crying yet. So I think either myself or Cody are gonna go in there and just kinda pat her a little and tell her it's okay. Um, and then set the timer for another 10 minutes. And now we reset the timer. Still no joy. She's awake and not screaming, losing her mind exactly, but not super thrilled about her current lot in life. Scratch that, she fell asleep. <laughs> She's trying to. Yeah. Literally, moments before we hit record, she was like doing that. So that's pretty much the pattern she fell last time. So I think we're just gonna chill for a few seconds and see what happens. Maybe we might go back in there one more time just to give her that pacifier to chew on and like rub her belly one more time and be like, you're okay. I don't know, I think she's gonna fall asleep because this is what she did last time. She got real quiet, almost fell asleep, pitched a fit, and then fell asleep. So maybe, uh, let them see what's up. All right, so we have three minutes left on the 10 minute timer that we had put on. And I'm pretty sure she's asleep. She's been quiet for about two minutes now in the same position. Um, I managed to record the last little bit of her um, crying and trying to self-soothe herself to sleep. And by the way, the way she self-soothes is she puts her hands in her mouth and she puts her legs up in the air and slams them back down. I just saw her doing it again. A little bit there but I think it's safe to say she's out so that took in total 22 minutes which for a parent listening to their child cry feels like forever yeah it was an eternity and not a small one but she's asleep so I'm gonna go take a shower and we'll see how long she stays asleep for half an hour into nap time and I see she's awake again she's not crying yet but she's awake so I'm going to see if she puts herself back to sleep, and if not, I guess we will go in there and comfort her, and then start a five minute timer again. I'm not sure if she'll actually go back to sleep or not. To be fair, her morning naps are her longest naps, usually about an hour and a half to two hours long, and then all the rest of her naps for the rest of the day are like 30 to 45 minutes. So if she doesn't keep napping, then that's, I guess, to be expected. It looks like she's doing okay though. She's kind of, she's trying to drift back to sleep. If you can see that. She's getting there. She's trying. 
Okay, she's definitely awake and crying on and off, so I'm gonna go in there and just pat her and tell her it's okay and set a five minute timer and hope she goes back to sleep. Okay, five minute timer went off. As you can hear, she's still awake, she's still crying. She did sleep for almost 40 minutes though, which is pretty typical of her like afternoon, late, like late afternoon and evening naps. So I think we're probably just gonna go get her up for the day the day I get her up for now like we're just gonna let her be awake from the nap but I would say that was so so okay so so successful babe mm -hmm. so so successful it took 24 minutes the first time to get her to go down to sleep it took 22 minutes this time around and that's more than anything what I'm concerned about is getting her to go to sleep on her own not so much the length of naps and like I said this is pretty typical she's usually naps between 20 and 45 minutes um yeah. If she's doing a car nap, she'll pretty much sleep as long as we're driving. Yeah. So we're going to go wake her up and uh, see how the next nap goes. Okay. So the last nap of the day did not go as according to plan. We tried to take our daily car ride and she cried through the whole thing and then fell asleep five minutes before we got home. So we decided we'd keep driving and then she woke up 20 minutes after that. So she didn't really nap. And it's now quarter after eight and she's had her bath and she's been fed and she's in her pajamas and we've set the five minute timer that hopefully she will go to sleep so far it does not look promising she's been pretty cranky ever since this afternoon which i guess is to be expected with any kind of change in routine but yeah evenings are always the hardest Okay, the five minute timer went off and she is still awake crying. So I'm gonna go in there and try to calm her down a little bit and then set the timer for 10 minutes and go from there. Okay, so the 10 minute timer went off and she fell asleep just before the timer went off. I wanna say like a minute. So we'll say it took 14, 15 minutes for that to work. Um, but she's sleeping, she's been asleep for a little while. How do you think that went, Cody? I think it went pretty good. Um, yeah, she, she wasn't impressed. And I definitely felt like a bad um, parent. I know Valerie felt like a bad parent. Yeah. Um, but, you know, in the short-term pain for long-term gain, right, I think it would be better for her overall to be able to self-soothe and put herself to bed. Yeah. So I knew it was going to be difficult. I think I started the day a lot more hopeful than it ended. Not because it's not working, obviously it is. The first time we tried it, it took 24 minutes. Her second nap, it took 22 minutes. For her to go to bed at night, it took 15 minutes. So the intervals that we're waiting are getting smaller and hopefully that trend continues throughout the week because we are gonna stick to this um, for at least a week and see how it goes and if at the end of the week we feel like it's not working then we're just going to go back to how we were doing things and wait you know maybe another month before we come back to it but i i think it'll i think it'll work but it is really hard to listen to your child cry even when we're doing other things like i've been editing this video um throughout the day as we're waiting for her to fall asleep or um you know i took a shower earlier like we just we try to find things to do but it still sucks hearing her cry like that. And it makes you feel like a bad parent. Like Cody said earlier, you know, you feel like whatever's making your kid cry, you should be there to protect them. Um, so yeah, so that sucked. That was not a good feeling. So I guess we'll see. Um, generally once she's down, she sleeps pretty much until I wake her up when I come to bed around 11 or midnight. And I don't even really wake her up. I just do like a dream feed. So I just feed her um, and then put her back to bed. Sometimes I'll change her diaper as well. And then she sleeps pretty much until three to five in the morning, somewhere around there. Sometimes longer, like sometimes she'll go the whole night, but generally somewhere between three and 5 a.m. she wakes up again. Um, and then again at 7 and that's when we get up for the day. So we will see if she stays asleep or if she winds up waking up and kind of how the night goes. But I'll update you guys on that the following morning. That'll be it for today's video. So thank you for watching. If you're sleep training your baby, I would love to know how it's going for you or if you've done it, if it worked for you. 
um, and if you're in the process of it and you're stressing out, it's okay. You're not a bad parent. It's just really hard. Yeah, if you're in the same boat as us, reach out to us and we can commiserate together about what awful parents we feel like. Yeah. So that's it. I'm feeling pretty tired. It's not even that late. I think it's just been emotionally draining yeah. on both of us. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to end this uh, video here and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.